today is uh, Friday 20th of June, uh, 10 past 9, pre-market open and as usual looking at UK wheat chart. Uh, start with the monthly chart as we've been doing over the last couple of weeks with this big fall that we've happened. Um, just done some analysis. Um, the last six years in July, uh, prices of average months in July, uh, so most of the average is that the market does recover uh, in July, you get a green candle, but obviously that's not to say that history repeats itself, but that's some, some analysis I've been looking at this morning. Um, obviously you can see clearly here, I've got my support line here, 39.65, 138. See that we tested here, 2011. We're at this point at the moment, just broken through it. Um, last time was in 2008, and you can see in July here, this big red candle here, 20 pound a ton, shot right way through it, and went down to test 130. Um, only support level I can find is this one below here, 2009 high, 126. Um, interesting that the six year average is still up, but obviously the short term trend at the moment is down. So you've got conflicting, very much conflicting signals on the long term monthly chart. Uh, also volume is dropping off here, you can see quite considerably at the present moment. Then obviously you come down to the daily, a little bit slow there. And you can see here this, this fall here that we've had, high here, 162, that was in April. Uh, we've had a fall of 26 pound a tonne. Uh, swing low here was last in February, 142. Uh, last Part of that last swing low was August last year, 150. Um, got my 60 day moving average here, which I call my value line. That's up here at 151. So at the moment we are £15 a ton below the mean average value of this contract over last year. Uh, you can see, obviously I've circled here the last times we've tested it, broken through it. Got my gap here up at 156, that's important sometime over the next year, that's going to get filled. So obviously we're looking for a retrace. Um, and obviously got the lines that at support line here at 150. Now that 150 also represents 15, a 50% retracement on the fall. So that's where if prices, we do get a back, this um, bounce up, that's why I would, I would expect to go and see the first hurdle to cross is 142. Now I was looking for a cross of the five day moving average and a close above it. That took place last night. Uh, as we did here have in February. So there is a chance for a bounce now, um, but obviously the market, I would like to see this hold above this for sort of an average, give a filter for the next three days um, and look for our first test here at 142. But obviously if we then take, but if we reverse down and then back through this five day moving average and we take this 136, then it does open the potential of a, uh, another 10 pound a ton drop. Um, the trend, the short term, the monthly trend now is down. So obviously we're in selling opportunity mode and obviously the, uh, the best value of that is up here at 151. So let's see how far this bounce will take us to give us a signal of when it wants to turn again. Um, just of interest, um, was reading yesterday in the Share magazine, uh, a very interesting article on page 34 all about the El Nino uh, effect and they're uh, advising their customers that if it's confirmed in um, July or August that there is an El Nino going to happen, that they suggest that you should take advantage of shorting wheat with a potential of a 30% drop. Uh, this was the same that happened in 1997. After reading the article I thought, well, yeah, everybody already knows this, this, this possibility so oh, is this in the price already or is this still not to happen? Um, obviously that's, that's the yin and yang and the to and fro that's going to happen now over the next you know, month or whatever. Uh, but obviously we want to keep an eye on this chart and show if it's given us any signals of this happening. Um, just also finally to note the point here, that <clears throat> though we've had this fall, the volume has dropped off considerably, but the opening dress has kept going up. So obviously uh, we'll keep an eye on this and uh, I'll put updates as we go along. Just finally look at, look at, at um, US wheat chart. Obviously you can see the fall here, the big fall. We're coming back 
to 6.30 uh, to test this gap left in end of February last year. It, will this hold or will this break? Um, that's obviously what we're going to see over the next few days. So that's what we'll be watching on there. And finally on the good old Aussie rate, we're getting no, no uh, discernible action at the present moment. Uh, still in this sideways um, action but we are getting the moving averages pointing down in the longer terms. So it is showing that um, we are starting uh, a downwards trend uh, out of this sideways pattern, but obviously that would not be confirmed until we took out this low here. Um, so obviously it's just keeping an eye on this um, uh, weight at the present moment. Uh, and now we have got this signal of a close above the five day moving average to see whether that holds to give us a bounce. And I'll put that update this time next week. Thanks for watching.